Well, a recent new study by Harvard Medical School revealed that people who take popular weight loss drugs like Ozempic or Wagovi may have a higher risk of developing a rare eye disease that could cause blindness. Again, we want to stress the condition is rare. We're talking up to 10 out of 100,000 people may experience this, but doctors noted three cases in one week, and each of those patients was taking semi-glutide medications. So let's ask the expert. Joining me now is Dr. Sonal Harder of Dignity Health Medical Center, and she's also board certified in obesity. Okay, I wanna get your first reaction to this study. Okay, the first reaction is important to know the study itself, mm -hmm. and the study has several limitations. Okay. So we need more research and more solid research to back this up. So at this time, this information is not enough for us to discontinue medications okay. in patients who are taking it for diabetes and obesity. But here's what I would like to tell all our patients who are on these medications. If you have no symptoms, if you're doing really well, it's still very important to follow up with your doctor, mm -hmm. have regular follow-ups, check on those symptoms and signs. If you are noticing any symptoms, this is a good you know, something to keep in the back of your mind, that yeah. there are some evolving signs and symptoms that we are still researching and study. So we do need more research, okay. but we need to be keeping this in the back of our minds. Well, and especially when you're talking about blindness, Correct. possibly, and but again, 10 out of 100,000. And the interesting thing about this condition is diabetes and obesity are risk factors for this eye condition. Oh, so, so, so it's yeah. a very important to control diabetes right. and take care of obesity as well. Sure, sure, keep it in context. Okay, Correct. so let's go over some of these very common side effects though that will affect obviously more than 10. Correct, <laughs> so about 50% patients actually who are taking semaglutide will experience some kind of GI side effects. So the okay. common ones are nausea, vomiting, mm -hmm. bloating, diarrhea, acid reflux kind of symptoms, right. and obviously feeling very full. Mm -hmm. Now these are very common symptoms, but these symptoms tend to subside as you know patients take these medications for four or eight weeks, and typically about two or three months is a sweet spot. Okay. Most patients report resolution of these symptoms. Oh, good. Now there are some rare side effects, and this is something that people need to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. is pancreatitis. So inflammation of pancreas is something we see very rarely, mm -hmm. but we do see this, especially people who are using excessive alcohol or patients who have gallstones. This can be an added side effect. So you shouldn't be obviously drinking. Right. Well, to... I would say minimal drinking, just social drinking. Keep Got in it. mind that the medication increases the risk for pancreatitis. Okay. Um, the other thing is thyroid cancer, a specific type of thyroid cancer. Okay medullary thyroid cancer. If there's family history of this type of cancer or self-history, these patients are not good candidates for semaglutide or medications like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also see weight loss, which is desired, but sometimes the weight loss is excessive and can cause skin folds, yes. which can come with some other side effects. So right. things to remember. And the skin fold, I mean, that could sometimes result in surgery to remove absolutely. it, right? Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. I've also heard, can I just add to real yeah. quick, is paralysis. Paralysis, gastroparesis, of, yes. which is basically your stomach kind of, uh, it's a, you know, doesn't move as quickly as it's supposed to okay. and can lead to obstruction. Now, this particular side effect is very rare, just like the eye condition. Okay, because that kind of scared me and yes. many others. So yeah. very rare. And right. there are ways to actually take care of that, which is eating fiber, staying hydrated. So when you're taking these medications, it's very important that you follow a physician who knows how to manage these medications. Medications. So eating fiber, eating protein, your hydration matters, eating those vegetables and fruits are very important because mm -hmm. these are things that can actually reduce the side effects and especially like constipation and nausea. Sure, which are, if you think about it, kind of common anyways, that Absolutely. that's how you should lead your you know, healthy eating lifestyle to begin right. with. And, and that goes back to, this is foundation for healthy living, right? right? These medications are not a substitution for healthy living. Yeah. So going back to, you have to maintain your nutrition, your physical activity, your sleep you know, cycle, as, mm -hmm. as well as your stress levels. Yeah. That's your foundation. These medications will assist you in getting to those goals better if you have foundation of that. It's not the sole solution. Absolutely. It's part of it. Correct. All right, Sonal, great information. Thank you.